Let's bring in Sean. He's been tracking things from the Weather Center. So, Sean, what can we expect here in the coming hours? Well, flash flooding, big problem here, Scott. In fact, all of Tampa Bay under a flash flood emergency mm. at this hour here. The strongest wind with Milton is over. Made landfall around 830 around Siesta Key with a maximum wind of 120. It's still a category two hurricane. It stays a hurricane strength overnight tonight. Very heavy band of rain uh, with the stronger gusts now riding right along I-4 and that's going to take it into Orlando. Uh, it's going to take it into uh, Deltona as well as Daytona. These are flash flood warnings and flash flood emergencies. That includes Lakeland and includes all of the Tampa Bay area where some areas have already uh, had over 15 inches of rain and that zone is going to still be pounded at least uh, northeast from Tampa to Lakeland and you can see this thing is really speeding up here. That's how things are going to progress for the rest of the night. Sustained winds right now in the 50 to 60 range. We've had some few gusts over 100 miles per hour. We'll have the seven day forecast here locally coming up in a few minutes. This, this is pretty intense. Families urged to get out of Florida, but some making the decision to stay, including some folks from Speedway. The Brulees have a home in Port Charlotte, not far from where Milton made landfall tonight. Mary Bruley told us her home is up to current hurricane code. It's also in an evacuation zone, but she told us she's got plenty of food and water right now, and they put up storm shutters. Uh, this home's pretty solid, and we're up high enough and inland enough, we're, we're pretty safe. We're, we feel we're pretty safe, but you know, that can all change. Mary's been telling 13 News she has experienced several hurricanes in the past. She spent more than two decades in Florida, but she admits tonight this one feels different and is asking for prayers as this storm hits. Well, right now, Indiana Task Force One is on standby tonight in southern Georgia. The 84 person team is expected to fly into the Tampa area after this hurricane moves through. Tonight, a Lauren Costick shares how they're doing right now after an already exhaustive two weeks helping with Helene. Hurricane Milton looming over Florida's Gulf Coast just two weeks after Hurricane Helene made landfall. Indiana's Task Force One preparing to answer the call again. The guys are, are ready to go. We're going to be going down into Florida as soon as Milton comes through. The more than 80 person team has been in search and rescue mode for weeks. First starting in Florida and then moving to North Carolina. Now on standby in Georgia. We uh, did a bunch of uh, training today to be prepped for, for the storm for, for Milton to come in. Um, with it being as strong as it is, we uh, we believe that there's probably going to be a need for us to be airlifted in. So we did a bunch of aircraft uh, safety training today. The team also preparing equipment and resting up after being deployed for more than two weeks. Task Force One leader Jay Settergren calling his team resilient. The last two days we've been really concentrating on getting some rest and just prepping for Milton. Um, but very strong minded, uh, very, very sharp skills have been practicing uh, our craft and, and are ready to go into work. So uh, everybody's upbeat and ready to go help. Their main assignment will be search and rescue, helping local first responders. Um, and I believe with the size of this storm that they're going to be uh, taxed uh, fairly quickly just because of the, again, size and complexity of it. A team of who's your helpers ready to go when the call comes. Lauren, any idea when that call could be coming? Well, Scott, we're told they have to wait for this storm to pass and to make sure things are safe. And mm. then as soon as they get that call, they will head down there and that could even happen overnight. All right, Lauren Costick, thanks so much. Governor Eric Holcomb is activating the Indiana National Guard tonight to help with hurricane relief efforts in Florida. 400 soldiers from units based in Lawrence, Gary, Terre Haute and Albany are heading that way. They're going to be helping with things like route clearance and supply distribution. Now you can monitor Hurricane Milton anytime on our 13 weather app. It allows you to check the storm's track right there on your phone. Plus you can check in with our weather team on their blog. That app is a free download. You can get it in the app store right now.